analyst test to break it down. Thank you so much, Pyra. We've got a series on our hands. Mithy to Profit called it all very happy about that. Talking about picks and bans, H2K said, okay, after two games, we had enough practice, we're going to give for given to Lucian, and what a comp they had to counter him. Yeah, uh, the composition was really good at killing the backline, and the composition out of SK had a bit of backline diving and not a lot of backline protecting. So every team fight, any sort of engagement, their backline was just going to die. And as we saw in the game, it, it was just an extremely poor composition. H2K outdrafted SK. Yeah, we don't really have to talk about Ryu on Z because that guy is a monster on that champion. He's insanely gifted on Z, but to make Z work, you need an AP top laner. And Lulex, as a player, is known for having those heavy tanks. Mao, Kai, Cyan, Shivana, all those champions work pretty well on him. He made the rumble work, and this is what actually impressed me. The build that he went for was 100% just to stand in the backline, throw the W on everyone who engages, and then rumble ultimates whoever's focused. Yeah, and uh, I just want to jump in on there really quickly about the Odawamne point. He lost his first game this year on Maokai in the first match of the series. He's now 8 and 1. Bounces back, pulls out the first time Hecarim, the first time Rumble. His Hecarim was pretty good. His Rumble was fantastic. And I want to just echo what DeFisher was saying on the cast today. It was a greedy build, it was an aggressive build. But when you hit every single equalizer, because Lulex is hitting every single Glacial Prison, because Ryu is like on point with Deathmark. It makes your job easier. This is the first game this series H2K has played as a team. Yeah, you took my point, but one of the other things... <laughs> I, <laughs> hey, you gotta be quick here. Yeah, one of the things I also wanted to say was, I think Deficio mentioned earlier how the Zed pick wasn't available for H2K because there was no AP mages out of the top lane. But Odom, they played a really good rumble, and uh, it really enabled the Zed pick for them. Yeah, and I just want to reiterate, reiterate what I said the last game. We saw that Hecarim was okay in doing well. He maybe should have dared to go for those things when they weren't in the third place match yet, but that is something definitely for them to think about going into the rest of the series and also going into uh, the next split. We have a couple of replays to showcase how good Ryu is on Zed. In the first one, we also see two mechanical gods forgiven on Lucian and Zed, uh, Ryu on Zed, showing what they can do if we can pull that replay up on the screen because it was so crucial in this match. Yeah, here you got two immortals going at it against each other. You got Forgiven, who's going in with the ultimate, and then Keep the focus it's on real. It's the prison, it's paused everything. Yeah, <laughs> that she's paused the whole replay for me, and it's really interesting. So there we go. He goes in, and then Kasing as Janna has to go in and throw her ultimate to make the save. And once that happens, Forgiving gets triggered. Triggering intensified, he sees he can kill him. So that's actually the not the replay I was looking for, but. Yeah, there he goes. Ryu's about to jump back in. He was poked out. Look at the W here, Dentist. This is what you got excited about earlier. And that's that's the reason. So the W goes forward to apply damage. And now look at Ryu. He goes back in on the W just to throw the death mark on Forgiven and goes back out with style. This is just a true display of skill, honestly. It really was fantastic. And I think it was these team fights and these picks that set H2K up. Look at this just flawless tower focus. First of all, Lulex gets both Forgiven and Fox. Then a oh. great equalizer into Ryu cleaning house. Anytime you have a uh, really fair, really high damage rumble, you use that equalizer for zoning to push the other team away and allow you to take that tower safely. H2K did that and they got kills at the same time. We finally got a series on our hands. Yeah, beautiful. An SK bread and butter dragons, uh, H2K bread and butter to towers and the way they like to push it. Definitely adaptation. Nice to see it coming in for H2K. The fact that they dare to go for different things for Oduwamne as well. Looking ahead, um, well, if they pick the same way, they got an actual chance here because they let the Forgiven have the champion he wants and they dominated well not said. Yeah, you can definitely leave the Lucian open now. Unless H2K, uh, unless SK adapts and bent out the champions that were good against the Lucian, which is the Rumble, for example, to deny the Z or to force Oduwamne on Diana, who hasn't worked for him in the match series against, um, against uh, Fnatic. Um, it's a very interesting pick and ban phase coming up now, and I'm really looking forward to which team adapts better to. I wonder if the priority on the AD carry bans will now start to falter. If you can beat a Forgiven Lucian, you should be able to beat a Forgiven Graves. You should be able to beat a Forgiven something else, mostly because of how fantastic he is on that. So, in my opinion, I think HCK should look at some of the other champions, focus on getting their players on high impact comfort picks. Uh, as opposed to trying to deny from your opponent. I want to see them draft more of a team identity. Like they had the split on the back on the backline dive, uh, and they also had champions that were good with protection. 
Uh, so I want to see maybe them pick more of a same style, either diving the back line or a team composition that's good at cutting backwards. Yeah, uh, something that goes against that, because Sting, when we see him on an Annie, he goes all in, on Thresh, he goes all in. This time he decided to go for the Janna, but it was actually a perfect pickup, seeing how the rest of the comp they had. Although I don't um, normally associate him with those picks, I always see him going in as well. I did think that that worked out for him. Yeah, but the Janna was absolutely everything they needed. They didn't need someone to go in, because they had the Zed. They had Ryu and Zed, who goes in every team fight on the Forgiven. And so you don't need a support to start a team fight for you. You have the Sijuani going in with the ultimate, then you have the Rumble ultimate who equalizes the situation, and Ryu in the back line. What you need from your support is someone in the back row who's able to give some healing and protection to your carries, and the Janna was just a perfect pickup. I also quite like the fact that it was a takeaway from Enrated who has favored the Janna this series. So it was a very early pick. It's not only a good, uh, in theory, with some of the tools it added, but I like the fact it was denying in to putting him on the first Nami of the series. Final point I quickly want to touch on, as we said, Ryu dominating on Zed. He loves that champion and pushes his advantage. Fox dominating on Kassadin in game one. You could argue to say that was because of the setups and he got those two triple kills. Oriana and Vladimir, I'm not particularly impressed. Yeah, I think the biggest issue with the Vladimir is it didn't really fit with the comp in my opinion. Uh, I didn't notice any two large misplays out of him. It seemed like he played the Vladimir quite standard at an LCS level, but there was just no opportunities for him to make any moves. Yeah. Well, we'll see what they decide to go with in the next game. We need to go on cooldown as we gear up for game four, where H2K needs to keep it up to tie the series. Stay tuned. I like for a smite fight here. They're waiting until they want to use this one. The bubble won't go in. It's taken by Lulex, but it shouldn't have come to that one. Sven Skarin moves over, and so do the rest of H2K. Ryu comes up with a pick. The best of both worlds for H2K. Fox trying to sustain up. Yarnin now. There's an exhaust on Forgiven. Odawande comes in and picks up Fox. There's a shutdown, however, by N Raiden as he takes Odawande down. Forgiven, flashing forward, gets another picks up Kasing. And there's the death mark. Forgiven's gone. Ryu's out. Ryu and shows no rest. What happens in this fight as the monsoon comes out? SK just start getting popped one by one. Oda Wamne is going to come up with a double kill and maybe then some. Freddy is going down as well. Lulex picks that one up. Fox all by himself. And that is going to be the wife, the inhibitor. They're going straight for base as Ryu spams that laugh. They do it. They force the issue. And with that.